How are you all doing? What are we going up to in this video? Wish me luck, Maddie. Let's pray it's going to start. So I stand up. Ignition on. Clutching. So let's find out. Right then, so this video is going to be a bit back to front and a bit front to back. But I'm sure it'll all make sense when we get to the end. So stay with me. So as it says in the uh, video title, Sasquatch mod. No, I didn't have a clue what it was either. Until I joined the Triumph Tiger forums and uh, did a bit of research. But I'm still doing research, so I still don't understand it fully. But basically, these Triumph Tigers do suffer from stator burn. And as a lot of you probably know, the stator lives inside there. So it's a bit dark down there. Uh, there's a rectifier just around about there somewhere, but down in the frame. But I've just got to do a bit more research on how to test my stator and how to test my volt regulator thing. What's it? What are they called? So let's try and work it out because as we all know, I ain't no mechanic. So yes, if you didn't already know about the uh, Triumph charging system problems, and I've scared you to death because of the problems they have, make sure you get yourself a voltage reader. Voltage meter, voltage reader. I've got a voltage reader and I've got all the extra bits with it. I don't need the switch, but I've got USB ports and I've got the uh, cigarette auxiliary lighter sat nav plug thing. But I'm not going to keep them all in this plate, they all screw off nicely so I can put them where I want them. But yes, if you're like me and you're worried about your Triumph Tiger not starting up the next time you get on it when you're miles away from nowhere, if you put your voltage meter on and wire it up, it'll tell you how much voltage you are getting. I think the best figure this voltage meter should be reading is 14 volts, but I'm not sure on that. I've got to check it out. So bear with me and I will go through it as I learn it. But the chances are you probably already know about the state of burn and all that crap with these triumphs. And a lot of you probably already experienced it. But if you're in that category, please drop me a comment and let me know how you solved it. Anyway, let me go and learn some figures. Right then, the first thing we're going to do is check the state of the battery. Turn this to volt. Hopefully you can see that. 12.8. I did charge this battery about four or five days ago. So now we've got to uh, start the bike up and hopefully it'll go more than 12.8. Put the bike on, it goes down to 11.8 because the front lights are on and you can't turn them off. Let's start it. Oh, 
that off because it's getting a bit fumey in here. Well I don't know about you but that's uh, confused me a little bit. I would have thought the volts would have gone up the more I revved it. But now the engine's off so it has charged because now it's on 13.1. Oh this is confusing. Right so I'm going to call that test as uh, maybe the battery is charging and everything's okay. But uh, really, I don't have a clue. Still on 13 volts. What was it on when we first switched? What was it? Switch? What was it on when I first connected the multimeter? I can't remember. 12 point. Was it 12.7? 12.8? Now it's on 13. So it has charged, but it seemed to lose, go less charged the more I left it. too much carbon monoxide in here. Let me open the door and let some out. Right then, so that hasn't sort of helped me with a positive conclusion. I sort of know it's charging on tick over, but when you put the revs on, but when you put the revs on, it stopped charging as much. But still charging enough. Oh, I don't know. So if any of you out there have any uh, knowledge about this sort of thing, please drop me a comment down below. I'll be very grateful. So anyway, MOT tomorrow. Let's go and get a good night's sleep. Okay, so it's MOT day then. Wish me luck. And also wish me luck. But I'm not pushing this thing back home because it won't start. I've given the battery a good charge. I've given the spear battery a good charge. And I've got the jump start as well in the top box. I know it's going to start now because it turned over in the shed before I got it out. Wish me luck, Maddie. Let's pray it's going to start. So I'd stand up, ignition on, clutch in. It's that orange light. Doesn't look very good, does it? It's the first time that's come on. The engine light. Ooh. First impressions. Where's my back brake? It's a bit dodgy, but it is breaking in, I think, as I'm pressing it. Yeah, that's better. Whoop! 
Van drivers, don't you love them? Oh, I can smell diesel. Be careful. This is a petrol bike. Not that you get diesel bikes, I don't know. So if you can smell diesel. You can guarantee somewhere it's going to be a bit slippy. Well, so far, I'm loving it, to be honest. I just hope it's going to restart when I. Uh, get the MOT finished. I was going to say past the MOT then, that's a bit optimistic isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. You've got to be optimistic, haven't you? Especially in this day and age. Go right up here. Take it steady. Sounds like a car with a blowing exhaust. <laughs> Suspension feels pretty good. The angling feels pretty good. Glasses are all steamed up. Did we pass or did we fail? <laughs> Still got the engine light on. Hello. God knows why that's on. Anyway, of course it passed. Yes, it passed with flying colours. So far, the actual ride, I am loving it. Whoa. 
I've only reached 30 mile an hour, but you can tell it's gonna go some. Yes, and it started up all right when I uh, got my MOT certificate. Down, Johnny boy. Yeah, I love the uh, little kick of acceleration there. is ridiculous. I think I'm going to fall in love with this one. Oh. It's a verbal at the back. If you can hear that, that sounds wicked. I suppose now I've got to get one of those code machines to see what the uh, code, what the error code is on the engine light. See if you can hold it without any, uh... oh yes, it holds the road with nice. No handlebars, no handlebars, no hands. It holds the road pretty nice, yes. Oh, let's get it back in before we get stopped with no tax. <laughs> Don't seem to be missing any beats or anything. I don't know why it's backfiring. Is it? Okay, so we've got home safe and sound. Watch your mirrors, Johnny. change the gears are a bit a bit hard to get it into neutral not too bad the <laughs> bike's rolling away while I'm trying to get off it yes one year's MOT Yeah, still got 12 volts in the battery. Between 12 and 13 if I switch it to uh, 100. But put it on the 200, it's 12.7. Oh, I think I'm happy with that. So yes, there we go, all MOT'd. Wait till we get rid of all this crap weather. So yes, hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
So that will do for this one. I've been JT Moto. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and tell me what is your dream motorcycle. I'd love to know. And on that note, I see you in another life, brother. I've got raindrops all over my glasses. Happy 2024.